I'm going to show you how to run a correlation analysis in SPSS. Now you do this when you have two or more continuous variables. So you're not comparing two or three or four distinct groups. You're actually looking at one variable that has a full range of values, uh, probably more than five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can't do all individual group comparisons. It's a continuous variable, say from zero to a hundred, uh, maybe age. Uh, could be com years of computer experience right here, where it can go, say, from 1 to 30. Uh, it could be a, a self-efficacy scale going from 0 to 40. So those are, there's lots of points there, so we call that continuous. And when you want to see the relationship between two or more variables you run a correlation analysis. Remember it's not causation you're just seeing if they're related and you can say they're related but you can't say definitively that there's a causal relationship. So let's go into it here we click on analyze correlate bivariate. All right. I'm just going to reset and what I would I like to correlate? I would like to correlate self-efficacy, which is confidence in using computers, and word processing skill, and let's throw in spreadsheet skill. And that's all we need to do. We're going to keep it simple. This is a Pearson correlation, just for your information. I'm going to click on OK. And this is the table that's created. So you have self-efficacy on top here, word processing and spreadsheets score so that's your confidence score your word press processing skill score and your spreadsheet skill score it's a total score and then you have the same labels down here so you can do a correlation between self-efficacy and word processing which I'm interested in self-efficacy and uh, spreadsheet score I could also do word processing and spreadsheet score they're very highly correlated so let's see what we have here what do we get what we get uh, let's look at self-efficacy and word processing well, let's, I'm going to start with N here. So that's the number of people in our sample, 139 valid uh, people in the sample. The significance, 0 0.000, which is P less than uh, 0 0.001 for sure. Uh, and then there's a couple of stars, a double star here. Double star means that it's significant at the 0 0.01 level. Well, we know it's significant at the 0 0.001 level, actually. Uh, if it's just one star, it would be significant at the 0 0.05 level. The last thing I'm going to mention is that 0.38 and 0.425, they might seem kind of low to be significant. And you'll see that, particularly with large samples. And so you have to realize that in social sciences, education, correlations uh, between 0.25 and 0.5, Five. That's very typical, that range, uh, 0 0.20 to 0 0.5. You don't see too many much higher, although we have 0.81. That's pretty high. So, and the reason is that there's lots of reasons that contribute to a particular thing in education. It's usually not one thing that causes something else. So, in terms of word processing scores, it might be your amount of experience, years of experience. It could also be how much practice you've had. Maybe your your vocation is uh, administrative assistant, uh, or maybe uh, you know you use it a lot, or maybe you don't have a computer at home. There could be lots of things that contribute to that score, and self-efficacy is just one thing. All right, so that's why correlations tend to be low in education. And that's how you run a correlation analysis and read the results in SPSS.